In terms of getting new users of broadcast music or um, publicly performed music to understand what that license fee represents, absolutely it is 100% an education process. They very often don't understand how those two things are related. Um, and there's that misconception of, hey, I bought the CD, I should be done now, um, that's playing in the background. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it, this entire process is an education. It always has been. Um, even back in the day when it was really just getting a record deal, that was an education process. Um, in terms of being a PRO and trying to continue to advocate on behalf of songwriters and composers, without a doubt. It is an ongoing education process. Publicly performed music enhances the environment. So, and you can experience that firsthand. You go somewhere where there's absolutely no music playing in the background. It feels a little cold, um, a little less inviting, but if, you know, the first thing people do when they go to a bar is go to the jukebox. If there's not a band playing, or there's not something being broadcast through you know, the venue's stereo system, they're going to go straight to the jukebox and put money in. Um, and every time an artist's music is publicly performed, they're entitled to be compensated for that because they've added value to your environment. And your customers are going to buy a couple of more drinks because they're having a really good time. So you're being compensated by the value that having music brings to your establishment. Um, you're going to have people who enjoy their experience. They'll come back again because they had a great time. And music is part of what added to that great time. And those writers and composers are entitled to be compensated for that.